BestBookBits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 11, Mind. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50-chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written, and audio format for easy consumption, this series will empower you with the know-how and tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by myself, Michael George Knight, the creator of the YouTube channel Best Book Bits and the website bestbookbits.com, this series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring you to chapter 11 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Mind. The mind is a seat of consciousness, the essence of your being, a formless continuum that functions to perceive the world, to think and to feel. This non-physical wonder we call the mind is our greatest tool we possess in our human tool bag. It can be used to create or to destroy, to love another or to hurt another, to uplift another or to put down another. It can be peaceful or revengeful, a tool for positivity or negativity, a magical invisible tool that is held by everyone and is activated by choice and free will. Your mind is an awesome quantum computer and you are the programmer. You can program your mind by the thoughts and the information you feed into your mind. To be able to direct your thoughts instead of having your thoughts direct you is a skill you can learn over time. Software and hardware. You cannot change the size of your brain, hardware, but you can change the software, mind. Changing your mind, pun intended, is the one thing you can do by changing the software you install. We all have a very similar brain as a species, but what makes us different individually is the software we have downloaded into our mind. The experiences that you have had in the past have formed your current way of thinking and understanding, and the future experiences you will have will form your future thoughts and understanding. It's all binary and math. Input equals output. You are in charge of recoding your software. Don't let other people program you. Feed your mind. You have the power to program your mind by the information you consume. The quality of your output, which is action, is largely determined first by the quality of input information we take into our mind. If you are not deliberately programming positive information into your mind, I can bet you you have been fed a mental diet of negativity. If we can start to control and program our minds, our chances of manifesting our dreams and achieving success are just a matter of time. Feed your mind constantly with the best information just like an athlete would consume the best food for their body, you want to consume the best information for your mind. Garbage in, garbage out. Quality in, quality out. Read the best books on the planet. Listen to the most successful and motivational people on the planet. Listen to the best audio books and follow the best podcast shows on the planet. Follow the best YouTube channels around and learn from people smarter than you. Attend the best seminars and workshops to develop your mind and network with people who would take you to that next level. Your mind is a dry sponge, always ready to soak up anything we give it. The mind will produce whatever ingredients you pour into it. Feed it with the best and you will become the best version of yourself. Feed it with shit and you'll become a shitty version of yourself. It's all on you to determine what you feed yourself mentally. If you take great care of your mind, your mind will take great care of your life and you will be rewarded with peace of mind. Recap on previous chapters. To recap the journey so far in this book series, I want you to become clear on what we've covered and what we'll be covering in the upcoming chapters. We start the journey of 50 words to realize your dreams by first having a dream of what you want to create in your life. We take a deep look into what you are passionate about and write down all your desires. We uncover your purpose and put your dreams, passion, desires, and purpose into meaningful life goals. We then take the time to map out your goals with the power of planning and take the time to go over the meaning of time. We get an understanding of knowledge and how creativity and ideas shape our lives, and in this chapter, explore the power of mind. In the next upcoming chapters, we will look at thoughts and the power of faith, dive into beliefs we hold and our attitude about life itself. We learn the secret to gratitude and giving, living in a state of abundance and prosperity, and finally the law of attraction, manifesting your dreams into reality. Quotes on mind. A major challenge in life is for each person to learn the art of standing guard at the doorway of their mind. Carefully examine the credentials and authority of those seeking to enter within that place where your attitudes are formed. 
A mind at peace, a mind centered and not focused on harming others, is stronger than any physical force in the universe. A mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. A toxic mind can and will create a toxic world. An educated man is one who has developed the faculties of his mind that he may acquire anything he wants or its equivalent without violating the rights of others. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young. Don't let anyone rent a space in your head unless they're a good tenant. Feed your mind with positive tapes, books, magazines, videos, and etc. And avoid negative people, books, newspapers, negative stories. Feed your mind with positive information that helps you where you want to go and where you want to be. For what the mind can realistically see, the body can achieve. Formulate and stamp deliberately on your mind a mental picture of yourself as succeeding. Hold that picture tenaciously. Never permit it to fade. Your mind will seek to develop that picture. Do not build up obstacles in your imagination. Genius is the ability to put into effect what is on your mind. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with dirty feet. If you correct your mind, the rest of your life will fall into place. If you don't plant flowers in the garden of the mind, then you'll forever be pulling weeds. It all begins and ends in your mind. What you give power to has power over you, only if you allow it. It all comes down to how we wire ourselves as human beings. It is a psychological law that whatever we wish to accomplish, we must impress on the subjective or subconscious mind. It is the mind that maketh good or ill, that maketh rich or happy, rich or poor. Learning never exhausts the mind. Live the full life of the mind, exhilarated by new ideas, intoxicated by the romance of the unusual. Mind control is a result of self-discipline and habit. You either control your mind or it controls you. There is no halfway compromise. The most practical of all methods for controlling the mind is the habit of keeping it busy with a definite purpose backed by a definite plan. Mind is a bridge, a bridge between the body and the soul, between the world and God. Don't try to destroy it. Minds are like parachutes. They only function when they're open. More important than learning how to recall things is finding ways to forget things that are cluttering the mind. Most people are so completely identified with the voice in their head, the incessant stream of involuntary and compulsive thinking and the emotions that accompany it that we may be described as then being possessed by their mind. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Nothing in the world can bother you as much as your own mind. I tell you, in fact, others seem to be bothering you, but it is not others. It is your own mind. Our minds are constantly active, always jumping from thought to thought, emotion to emotion. Remember, you are the only person who thinks in your mind. You are the power and authority in your world. Rule your mind or it will rule you. Sometimes the subconscious mind manifests a wisdom several steps or even years ahead of the conscious mind and has its own way of leading us toward our destiny. The answers you seek never come when the mind is busy. They come when the mind is still. The emperors of the future are the emperors of the mind. The human mind is our fundamental resource. The human mind is the last great unexplored continent on earth. It contains riches beyond our wildest dreams. It will return anything we want to to plant. The mind cannot think of the unknown. The mind can only project the known, that which you know. The mind is a creature of habit. It thrives upon the dominating thoughts you feed it. The mind is a powerful force. It can enslave us or empower us. It can plunge us into depths of misery or take us to the heights of ecstasy. Learn to use the power wisely. The mind is a superb instrument if used rightly. Used wrongly, however, it becomes very destructive. The mind is always either in the past or in the future. It cannot be in the present. It is absolutely impossible for the mind to be in the present. When you're in the present, the mind is there no more, because mind means thinking. The mind is like an iceberg. It floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, you can do it. As long as you really believe 100%. The mind is the matrix of all matter. The mind, once expanded to the dimension of larger ideas, never returns to its original size. The modern mind is in much hurry. The more powerful and original a mind, 
the more it will incline towards the rule. The most important moment of our lives is when we understand that we can fashion our minds as we will. The only thing you can control, and that is a state of mind. A state of mind is something that one assumes. It cannot be purchased. It must be created. The possession of anything begins in the mind. The single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. If it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth in what seems to be an instant. The trouble of having an open mind, of course, is that people will insist on coming along and trying to put things in. There are but two powers in the world, the sword and the mind, and in the long run, the sword is always beaten by the mind. To the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. Trying to shut down the mind by turning the mental switch is virtually impossible, but turning it to something new will let the tired part refresh itself. That is why golf, tennis, fishing, and other participation sports are important to good health. You can be a spectator at a sporting event and still worry, but you can't play and worry. Watch what you feed your mind. We don't live in the same world. Everyone lives in his own world. There are as many worlds as there are minds. Whatever the mind of man can conceive, it can achieve. When an idea exclusively occupies the mind, it is transformed into an actual physical or mental state. When trusted to do so, the non-rational mind solves problems and creates solutions. When you begin to think and grow rich, you will observe that riches begin with a state of mind, with definiteness of purpose, with little or no hard work. You are a mind with a body. You are a mind with a body. A mind possessing and always affected by powers known and unknown. A mind composed of two parts, the conscious and the subconscious. You cannot solve any problem that you might have in your life with the same mind that created it. You do things according to your own state of mind. You have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you'll find strength. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. Your only limitations are creatures of your own mind. Your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a real experience and one that you vividly imagine. And that's a wrap on 50 words to your dreams, chapter 11, mind. Let me know your thoughts on chapter 11. If you need some accountability in your life, connect with me for free coaching sessions at coaching at bestbookbits.com. For hundreds of videos, written and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. Stay tuned for chapter 12 in the series, Thinking. Thanks for watching and listening, and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.